guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sherry and welcome to my channel. We have a lot of fun here on this channel and we cover plus size fashion, some beauty, some trends. And so if that sounds like something that you're into, I invite you to please subscribe. I'd love to have you join me and hang out with me as I go through this journey. I've got another great haul for you guys today from ASOS. ASOS is one of my favorite plus size online brands because they're so size inclusive. They carry straight sizes, petites, talls, curve, you name it, they have it. They carry men's line, women's. I just think that they're a great brand and the quality is usually really good you can sometimes find great deals too if they're having a sale i picked up some of the stuff on sale so i'll be sure to share the prices of these items that i picked up but ultimately i always know when i pick up asos clothing i'm going to get good quality at a good price that's going to last me a while and it's going to be a style that i love so look forward to many more asos hauls coming at you in the very near future before we get started, I'll just share my sizing quickly for those of you that are new. I am a US size 24 pretty universally. Sometimes I can go down a size on top, but I usually need a 24 for sure on bottom as I am more of a pear shape. And I am pretty tall, I'm 5'11". So the first piece that I got is this amazing embroidered dress. I was drawn to this online because of the detail here at the neckline, but then you get like a two for one winner with the back of this dress. Like I contemplated even wearing this reverse and having this be the front. If you wanted more of like a modest moment, you absolutely could. There's also embroidery on the sleeve. It's just so feminine and pretty. I loved this. I will say the fit wasn't exactly what I was looking for. It was much more snug than I thought it was gonna be. It is a very stretchy material though, however, so if you are in between sizes or if you are wanting more of a flowy fit, I would definitely size up because it does have more of that like cling to you material. There's also this unique slit on the side that I'm just really not sure how I feel about. It awkwardly was positioned on me and I don't really like the fact that it's kind of like this U shape and not just like a traditional slit. So not really sure about this one. I think it has really good potential. I probably would want to size up because I feel like it was a little too tight for my liking for at least the aesthetic that I was trying to go for when I picked this up. But the embroidery on here is absolutely stunning and something to definitely consider if you're looking for a piece like this. I picked this one up in the US size 24. I really love animal print and I really love a good wrap dress. So when I saw this bad boy online, I knew it had to come home to me. It was just screaming my name. This is like a matte silk finish, which I think is just so classy and elegant. It's beautiful. And the color, the print, just, I love everything about this dress, except it's just too big for me. I did pick this one up in the size 24. I think I could probably go down to a US size 20, maybe a 22. There was just so much room in the bust and in the arms and even in the waist. I tried to cinch this in and use like the wrap effect to try to make this fit a little bit more snug, but even at its tightest to where it wasn't tying in with the garment, it just was still awfully flowy on me, which is pretty rare for me, to be honest, especially with a 24, I can usually make it work. So I think this one just is cut a little bit larger than normal. So be aware of that if you're interested in this you can probably go down at least one size and be just fine. Otherwise, this is a beautiful dress, very well constructed, feels very elegant and luxurious, and the length is amazing. I also picked up these amazing cute little like espadrille flats in one of my favorite colors, this like dusty rose pink, and they've got cute little like rose gold toe here. They look like they're gonna be so comfortable. They're like a faux leather but they do have like the espadrille bottom. I'm gonna probably have to break these in because I do have a really wide foot and I did get these in the size 12W, but when I tried these on just to for out of excitement, honestly, cause I was in love with how these looked, they were a little tight on my foot, but I'm hoping that once I wear them around and kind of break them in a little bit, they'll stretch out and I'll be able to wear them 
without any issue. They have really cute footwear that I've honestly never tried from ASOS, so I might have to give them a second thought from here on out when I'm looking for footwear. I do have a wide foot, like I said, and I wear like a size 12 or 13 in most brands. So the fact that they had a 12 online really surprised me. I honestly don't know what I was thinking when I picked up this next dress. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, I really liked the button detail, okay? That was my saving grace. I really liked the button detail. And I was like, wow, you don't see like metallic silver shiny dresses that often. This had me intrigued. I felt like I needed to try it. But when I tried it on, I just felt like I was like a life-size replica of the Tin Man. I don't know. It just was really not flattering. It's just kind of like boxy and baggy on. The sleeves are really loose. The fabric is so shiny. Um, like they could see you from outer space wearing this. I don't know. Again, I was intrigued. I thought that this could be something like really unique and different and it absolutely is really unique and different. Just not my style. I got this in the size 24 and I think I could have sized down at least one or two sizes because it was very blousey. The buttons on this are beautiful. I think that that's a great detail and it does have pockets. So, you know, every good dress has to have pockets. Ultimately, this one's just not for me, but hey, it could make a really fun Halloween costume if you wanted to be like the Tin Man, but make it fashion. I'm a huge fan and lover of denim, so I thought I'd give ASOS denim a try as well. I found these really cute distressed me jeans. They are very stretchy, like super, super stretchy. This is the only distressing that is on the piece of denim and they are a high rise, which I really appreciate. I picked these ones up in the US size 24. They fit really, really well. I was actually very surprised. There's just so much stretch in these. Like I maybe could have gone down a size and still been okay. I didn't love the length on me. They were more of like an ankle length and, and a little bit less tight around the ankle than I prefer with my denim but I do love the detail at the knee and the way that they fit. So I think what I'm going to do is try this same style, same everything, just in a longer length potentially and see if that changes my mind. But unfortunately, I don't think that these ones are gonna work out for me, so I'm gonna be sending them back. But now I know that ASOS denim is really solid. Have you guys tried it before? Let me know what you think. And this last piece is one that's not brand new to my closet, but it's still available online, so I wanted to share it with you. It's this beautiful dusty rose lace dress. It's absolutely stunning. It's got pleats all the way down it. It's pretty heavy. It's very, very well made. I wore this a couple of months ago. Um, I was the maid of honor in my best friend's wedding, and her color was this like pastel petal color. And... I had a really hard time trying to find plus size options for formal wear outside of like David's bridal. And I ordered so many dresses before I found this one. And this is absolutely something that I could totally wear again. I love that about ASOS formal wear. Although it's definitely formal enough for a wedding or for a special event, something like this with this elegant sleeve and lace detail is so timeless and something that you can wear again and again. I wore that dress for her wedding and I honestly don't know if I've ever felt more beautiful. And I had such a blast and it wore so well. I got so many compliments. It looked great and it was very reasonably priced. It's even on sale right now, so I'll link it below if you're interested in checking it out. But don't sleep on ASOS for formal wear because I, like I said, I think I ordered like six different dresses. None of them worked. They were either too short or they didn't zip up right or they just weren't the right silhouette. And then I found this beauty and I just, I love it so much. I, I'm just waiting for another occasion to be able to wear this again. And that is everything that I got from my most recent ASOS haul. Thank you so much for tuning in. I always love to hear from you below what some of your favorite pieces were. And if you are inspired to check any of these out for yourself, please let me know. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like this kind of content. It really helps me out to know what you enjoy watching here on this channel. 
And like I said in the intro, if you're not already a subscriber, I would really love for you to join and follow me as we go deeper and deeper into plus size fashion and beauty. Thank you so much again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.